Hello, welcome to our new question bank. Today we are going to discuss a question paper. This is our first part and as you know the explanation will be given in the description box. Let's do not waste much time. Let's move to question number 1. The term orthopedic is derived from the Greek word which means option A. Art of preventing and correcting deformity in children. Option B. Art of managing fractures and dislocation. Option C. Dealing with diseases and injuries of trunk and limbs. Option D. Dealing with diseases and injuries of bones, joints, muscles and ligaments. And the answer is Option A. Art of preventing and correcting deformities in children. Now let's move to question number 2. The green stick fracture is seen in Option A. Adult Option B. Children Option C. At any age Option D. Elderly And the answer is Option B. Children now let's move to question number 3. With fractures of the shaft of the long bones, rotation is controlled by Option A. Immobilizing the joint close to the fracture site in slight flexion. Option B. Immobilizing the joint close to the fracture site in neutral position. Option C. Immobilizing the joints above and below it. Option D. Surgery. And the answer is Option C. Immobilizing joints above and below it. Now let's move to question number 4. External fixation is used for Option A. Fracture with severe soft tissue injury involving skin and blood vessels Option B. Unstable fracture Option C. Pathological fracture Option D. Multiple fracture And the answer is Option A. Fracture with severe soft tissue injury involving skin and the blood vessels Now let's move to question number 5 Burst fracture is seen in Option A. Thal's fracture Option B. Vertebral fracture Option C. Femoral head fracture Option D. Stephoid fracture And the answer is Option B. Vertebral fracture Now let's move to question number 6 Burn in electrotherapy occurs due to Option A. Overdose Option B. Inability to dissipate heat due to peripheral vascular disease Option C. Loss of sensation Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above. Now let's move to question number 7. The low frequency current is up to Option A. 1000 Hz Option B. 50 Hz Option C. 100 Hz Option D. None of the above. And the answer is Option A. 1000 Hz Now let's move to question number 8. Russian current is Option A. Low frequency Option B. Medium frequency Option C. High frequency Option D. None of the above. And the answer is Option B. Median Frequency Now let's move to question number 9. Faraday current is Option A. A. Alternating current Option B. A. Direct current Option C. Interrupted current Option D. Modified current And the answer is Option C. Interrupted current Now let's move to question number 10. Dash current is used for stimulation of innervated muscle. Option A. Faradic current Option B. Faradic type Option C. Surge Faradic Option D. Interrupted Galvanic And the answer is Option A. Faradic Now let's move to question number 11 Head of the humerus measures almost half a sphere with an angular value Option A. 180 Option B. 160 Option C. 150 Option D. 120 And the answer is Option C. 150 now let's move to question number 12. Neck shaft angle of the humerus is Option A 45 degree Option B 60 degree Option C 90 degree Option D 120 degree And the answer is Option A 45 degree Now let's move to question number 13. At rest scapula makes an angle of about dash with the frontal plane. Option A 15 degree Option B 30 degree Option C 45 degree Option D 60 degree and the answer is Option B 30 degree Now let's move to question number 14 Scapuloclavicular angle at the rest is about Option A 30 degree Option B 45 degree Option C 60 degree Option D 90 degree And the answer is Option C 60 degree Now let's move to question number 15 Root of the spine of scapula corresponds to Option A T2 Option B T3 Option C T5 Option D T7 And the answer is Option B T3 Now let's move to question number 16 
glenohumeral joint capsule is lax to allow mobility the head of the humerus can be distracted laterally about dash with the arm by the side option a 2 cm option b 3 cm option c 4 cm option d 5 cm and answer is option a 2 cm now let's move to question number 17 dash checks the downward pull of the gravity on the arm by side option a superior joint capsule option b rotator cuff option c glenohumeral ligament option d deltoid and the answer is option b rotator cuff now let's move to question number 18 external rotation of the glenohumeral joint is checked by option a middle glenohumeral ligament option b inferior glenohumeral ligament option c anterior coracohumeral ligament option d posterior coracohumeral ligament and the answer is option b inferior glenohumeral ligament now let's move to question number 19 trapezoid ligament of acromioclavicular joint checks option a medial movement of the clavicle option b lateral movement of the clavicle option c downward movement option d upward movement and the answer is option b lateral movement of the clavicle now let's move to question number 20 dash rotates the clavicle backward during elevation option a upper trapezius option b trapezoid ligament option c conoid ligament option d deltoid and the answer is option c conoid ligament now let's move to question number 21 which stimulator is more comfortable safe but less accurate option a constant current option b constant voltage option c both option d none of the above and the answer is option b constant voltage Now let's move to question number 22. Pulses of tens are usually option A uniphasic, option B biphasic, option C biphasic with even charge, option D biphasic even charge with equal or unequal pulse shape in both direction. And the answer is option D biphasic even charge with equal or unequal pulse shape in both direction. Now let's move to question number 23. benefit of resin current over faradic stimulation is option a better pain relieving effect option b covers larger stimulation area option c stimulation of deep muscles option d better facilitator of healing and the answer is option c stimulation of deep muscles now let's move to question number 24 rio base is option a maximum tolerable current for a nerve impulse at long duration Option B minimum current for a nerve impulse at short duration option C minimum current for a nerve impulse at long duration option D none of the above and the answer is option C minimum current for a nerve impulse at a long duration now let's move to question number 25 which ion of force is used for hyperhidrosis option A metallic silver option B glycopyridium bromide option C xanthanes nicotinamide option D vinic alkaloid and the answer is option b glycopyridium bromide so that's all for today if you have any doubts please do mention in the comment box i'll be back with part 2 soon till then bye bye